Hey there, my name is Matthew Peterson. I'm a trainer at Pragmatic Works, where we do on-demand learning, live training, hackathons, virtual mentoring, and so much more. Uh, and this week for my Power BI video, I wanted to bring to you uh, a feature that you may or may not be aware of. Uh, this is a preview feature that was made available uh, in December 2020, and it is called the Small Multiples Preview Feature. And what the Small Multiples Preview does for certain visuals it will allow you to take a visual and essentially duplicate that visual on your report, but split each individual one down by a specific field. Uh, so it can add a little bit more dynamic control to the report, and this might be something that's useful for some of the reports that you currently have in production or ones that you decide to start building today. So let's go take a look at how this uh, feature works. So right, we're in here in the Power BI desktop, and the first thing that you do have to know is that this is a preview feature. So you're going to go to your file ribbon, options and settings, options, and then we'll go zoom in on the preview features. And this is the small multiples preview feature. So it does need to be turned on uh, in order to work. And depending upon what version of Power BI you are running, uh, depends upon how many of the features you have accessible with small multiples. They're always adding new updates. Now I'm running the April uh, 2021 version right now. So if you're running something older like the December, some of the things I show you might not have uh, access to yet. So let's just get into it and see what it can do. So right here, I just have a clustered column chart filled in with the calendar year. Uh, I'm doing the legend of my columns based on the sales territory country. And then I'm measuring the sales amount. And so what I have down here is this new option called small multiples. So let's see what this does. I'm going to take this legend of sales territory country. I'm going to drag it into the small multiples field. And when I do that, notice what we have. We now have all of our data, but now instead of seeing them in that legend of those multiple columns, we have an individual tile, so to speak, for each of my countries. Now apart with this, so now you're seeing a more granular kind of approach to this, your tooltips are still gonna function in the same way. So if I come over here and hover, this is telling me Australia 2007, the sales were 2.9 million. Apart from that, if I were to click on this, all my other visuals are gonna be cross-filtered just like they would in any other visual representation. So not only can we just click on an individual bar or control click on different bars and see how our visuals are changing, we can select the title of the individual tile within this. So if I just select Canada up here, now we're only seeing Canada. So this is one way, rather than seeing all of those columns, we now have split it out into individual views. And along with this comes some formatting features that you can do, which we're gonna look at in a separate one of my multiple visuals. So prior to April, these were really only supported in your, your bar and column and your line charts and your area charts. But then in April, they released the version that allows you to put these in your combo charts. So I have a combo chart over here where it's fairly the same thing. Uh, what I've got, let me select my visual so we can take a look at what we have. I've got the country as the axis. I'm going to do my series based on the calendar years sales amount, and I'm also keeping track of the profit margin. So I definitely have a lot of insights for what we are viewing. And again, if you think that your end user would rather see all of these based on one specific category and see the multiple tiles based on that, simply drag that into the small multiple section. So I'm gonna take our calendar year, and I wanna see all of this over time, and I'm gonna come on down and bring it into my small multiples. Now notice what we see. I have broken down everything by year. So I have all of my countries, I have the sales amount, as well as our profit margin as well. Now, what has happened is, you might go, what happened to the axis? Well, the x-axis values are down here. So each visual is gonna have different kind of formatting things you can do with it. So let's talk about a few of these. The first thing that I don't like is because I've only got uh, four years right here, it's still showing me six of these individual tiles, so to speak, because the way it's set up, it's set up for doing two rows with three columns, but we can change that over in the formatting section. So with my visual selected, I'm gonna come over to the formatting section here, and we're gonna focus in on our grid layout. So underneath the grid layout, this is where I could say, you know what, I would rather have this as two rows in only two columns. And by making that change, I'm getting rid of those extra spaces. Also note, if you have more tiles that can show, so maybe I had you know, 15 years here, 
um, it's going to be really hard to put all 15 within this one visual. So a scroll bar will pop out so that you can go up and down in order uh, to see the visuals themselves. And that's why these axes labels are pinned down here at the bottom. But apart from changing the rows and the columns, some other things that you can do here is change the padding in between them. So if we come on over to our grid padding, which is currently set to 12, I'm just going to change this up, make it a little bit larger, and we can see that we get more separation from it. And right now, we also have this advanced option, because that just kind of does it overall for all of it. But what if you want really finite control? If you turn your advanced padding options from off to on, now you have more control. So let's say in between the columns, that's what I really wanted to make a lot larger. So I get that bigger separation. And maybe between um, the row padding, I'll get them a little bit closer together here. And then if you make all these changes, you're like, yeah, you know what? I want to just go back to the default settings. You click on revert to default. Apart from your grid out, you can put in grid lines. So if you wanted to see grid lines, let's, let's say I wanted to see borders and the grid lines you have that flexibility as well. So there are a lot of things that you can do with this small multiples uh, preview feature here. They're adding more and more to it uh, every month. So now that you know about it, maybe you can use it one of your reports that you currently have existing uh, or some future reports down the road. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, let us know what more things you would like to see uh, with Power BI or Power Automate or Power Apps in the future. And we'll definitely try to get a video out there for you.